Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ty Stevenson. I'm the Waters Brewer, as you can see here. And uh, what you're looking at is my water chemistry adjustment Excel sheet. And I'm going to be making this little tutorial video to show you how to utilize it. So, for example, we have an American Pale Ale right here. You can click this scroll down box and you can scroll up and down. And you can see different beers such as Sweet Stout, Imperial Stout, Weizenbach, Saison, Belgian Double, pretty much whatever you'd like, right? And so we'll do this American Pale Ale for volume of mash water for 5 gallon batch. 5 gallons worth of distilled or reverse osmosis water is what this is used for. Um, since most of us don't know the mineral content of the tap water we use, we won't need to mess with that very much. Um, you don't have to use the dilution rate unless unless you are using your tap water. So pretty much leave that at 0% and that still requires you to start with 100% RO or distilled water. Um, next, we will move on to this section right here. As you can see, this goes number 1, 5, and 7. Um, if you did want to go to the more advanced settings and you did know the mineral content on your water profile for your tap water, you can go to the, down here this tab, the advanced settings, and you'll see 2, 3, 4, 6, and 8. But as of right now, you don't need to ever mess with this advanced setting. So you just go back to the regular calculator. And now is when you start to plug and play. So for an American parallel here, we have 6 grams of gypsum. So let's change that to 2. Okay, we change it to 2 and it's still good, all green over here. Let's change this baking soda to 4. As you can see, this will turn red. Um, let's change this calcium chloride to 0. And you can see we need more calcium. So if it's red like these two are, that means we have to adjust it to turn it into the green zone. And when they're all green like they all are, that means you are in the zone for the optimal style of beer, whatever you picked over here. So let's change this American Parallel to a, a stout now. Like we were talking before, let's go American Stout. And oh, whoa, now you look at it and see all the things turn red. And now we just have to counteract for that. So we'll go with about 2.5 grams of calcium chloride. And boom, just like that, it makes it good. Um, yeah, let's see if I click 5 grams of baking soda. Okay, that's too high now, so what if we just boost this up to 3? Oh, calcium's too high, so we have to go back down on calcium, so that has to be at 2. Okay, and so this would just get bumped back down to 4. Let's try 4.5. Yeah, uh, okay, 4. So then now it's all in the green, we're all set. That this is what I would add to 5 gallons for an American stout. 2 grams of gypsum, 2.5 grams calcium chloride, 2 grams epsom salt, and 4 grams baking soda. I never personally use calcium hydroxide or canning salt. Um, feel free to mess around with that, but I don't use it, so I recommend you guys don't either. Um, but yeah, that is a quick rundown of how the water chemistry Excel sheet is utilized for Waters Brewer. You can find this at www.watersbrewer.com. Once again, my name is Ty Stevenson, and thank you for listening.